Welcome to Fisher Toolbox Talk Training. In this session, we will be demonstrating correct installation of tow control expansion anchors, such as Fisher High Performance Anchor FH2, sometimes referred to as thick wall sleeve anchor. The High Performance Anchor FH2 is available in different sizes, ranging from M6 up to M24, in zinc plated, and some sizes are also available in stainless steel. FH2s are perfect option for applications where you require high loads, mainly in shear, and also visible connection where aesthetic finish is required. FH2 is available in four different head finishes, hexagon head, bolt head with nut and washer, dome head, and also countersunk. These are perfect for visible connection or where you would like to avoid any trip hazard. Fisher FH2 offer ETA Option 1 approval, has also ICC approval, has shock and seismic C1 and C2 rating, and also benefit from two hours fire resistance classification. It shall be used only in concrete, don't use it in masonry. Prior to any installation, make sure you have correct anchor as specified for your job. Check you have uh, correct anchor lengths, depending on your fixture thickness, include any packing, shims or any non-load bearing layers, because otherwise, if you are using short fixing, you will not achieve the full embedment depths. This is important because if you don't achieve the full specified embedment depths, load would be compromised. Before you start, make sure you have full PPE. And now we are ready to do the installation. I will be installing FH2 1210. So for that, I will need 12 mil diameter PJ Mark drill, which is not worn. And I need to drill 90 millimeter from the top of the fixture to concrete. And make sure fixing is not spaced closer than 60 millimeter from any edge of the concrete. Now we have to clean a hole. And with Fisher blowout pump, we have this very useful cup so the debris is deflected to the surface of the concrete. If you use a Fisher hollow drill bit, then cleaning can be omitted. Now the hole is clean, we are installing the fixture. So once again, make sure you have the correct embedment and we have to expand the fixing, applying correct installation torque. Observe that rating on the packaging. In this case, we have to apply 22 and a half Newton meters with calibrated torque range. Done. So by applying the correct installation torque, we made sure the fixing is expanded fully. It's not overstressed and bracket is nicely clamped against the concrete. So quick summary, make sure you have correct anchor as specified, correct type, diameter and lengths, have correct installation tools and accessories, use quality PGM drill bit and make sure it's not worn, check the wear marks, drill to the correct diameter and lengths, clean a hole and if you use a hollow drill bit, cleaning can be omitted, insert the anchor through the fixture, make sure you achieve specified embedment depth, and tighten to recommended installation torque. Don't use a wrench. And for any further details or assistance, contact Fisher Technical Helpline on 01491 827920, visit our website at www.fisher.co.uk or download Fisher Professional app. Thank you for watching.